USA Soccer 2018. We are seeing some sustainability and modest growth in our lower divisions. Plenty of clubs all over the country now just waiting for their chance to be able to win their way up to Division I through a open USA Soccer system with promotion and relegation. And there's a phrase that uh, people use, and it extends beyond the soccer industry, but in USA Soccer, it's support local soccer. And I understand the sentiment behind that. You want to support the little guys, the uh, small shop on the corner, the mom and pop shop. Uh, in this era of you know, the big commercial e-commerce industry, Yes, it is good to want to support little clubs, but let's not forget that the phrase support local soccer is rendered powerless under current toxic closed system U.S. soccer policy. And so what we need to do is go back to square one and remember that this closed system policy is flat out robbing lower division clubs blind of their equity and opportunity. So if we want support to actually matter for these small grassroots, do-it-yourself, startup soccer clubs, whatever you want to call them, we need to first give them a chance at a proper return on investment for so that fan support can actually matter, so that time invested by clubs, club coaches, administrators, and players can actually matter. So it's not just treading water and wasting time. Yes, it's a good endeavor and it's a good cause. And maybe some people just want to do it as a as a hobby, just want to tread water. And that's fine. But I think most clubs can agree that they want a fair shot to reach the heights of American soccer, just like thousands of clubs have the chance to do all over the world. They want to do the same thing here in America. So it all starts with you, lower division soccer clubs. You must start to speak up against the robbery of your equity and opportunity by this closed system policy. You want to differentiate yourself from MLS? Well, stand for the real version of soccer, which is equality and opportunity. Right now, MLS captures just 6% of the total USA soccer market. 94% of us are paying attention to authentic open system soccer outside of America. We don't care about the domestic game here. And it shows MLS captures this 6% slice. And the question for lower divisions is, do you want to just feed off of scraps from that failing MLS 6% or do you want to stand for something different? Change the paradigm. You can stand for authentic soccer while MLS stands for a plastic, fake, made-up version of soccer that doesn't have independent, real clubs that can go as far as their support can take them. Speak up against this injustice, US, USA Soccer Clubs, and of course, the millions of people and fans that maybe aren't part of a club right now in USA Soccer. We must speak up against unfair treatment. We need our U.S. Soccer Federation to fight for the interests of all people in the USA Soccer ecosystem. All clubs, not just for one company, not just for one group of people. The charter of a governing soccer federation under FIFA is to provide everyone a fair chance, a fair seat at the table. Not to guarantee outcomes, not saying this club will survive, this club will die, this club will go up, this club will go down. No, we're just saying everyone is treated fairly, whether you are Manchester United at the top or the smallest grassroots club at the bottom, you still have a legit chance to win your way up to the pinnacle of your domestic soccer ecosystem. And that's what we need here in America, a federation that fights for all of its constituents, not just a select few. And if this USSF federation won't do its job under FIFA, we need to start a new USA Soccer Governing Federation People and clubs of America need to band together and we need to appeal to FIFA to get them to sanction this new federation instead of the failing USSF federation. 
and there we go. The system can open from there. So it's up to us, the people, to speak up for this change. We must stand up against the robbery, the robbery of our equity and opportunity. 99% of U.S. soccer is disenfranchised. That must change if U.S. soccer is going to fulfill its massive potential. So remember, support local soccer is meaningless without an open system. So let's fight for that open system. And then the time, energy, and support can actually go somewhere, can actually mean something. That is the next step for American soccer, and particularly lower division clubs. So if you like this video, make sure to share it out across social media and also subscribe right here to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon.